Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith, we are playing Sanitarium. I swear every time you see a new episode come along, it's like, where the hell is this guy? If you haven't, I've been watching along. This thing's changed so much in this guy's mind. But in this last uh, episode, after figuring out how to get into the Aztec room, we find that the doctor had just disappeared magically. We found our way using their uh, their uh, calendar to this town as a god. Oh my god. So we're going to go and start checking out all of these altars that are built for each of them. And see what information we can find or what purpose they have. He's going to bust these Boulders out the way. Are no match for the mighty Olmec. Nice. For once, yeah. I don't have to worry about something being in my way. Appreciate that. What's in here? Somebody. Is that the little girl? <laughs> yeah. You it must is. be the stonemason's daughter. Better be. Your parents miss you greatly. I will take you home. I am a serpent. <laughs> oh, not this little girl. <laughs> <laughs> right into the stone stuff, right into the top wall. Kotlku, my daughter, you have returned from death. Fool! She was trapped within the temple. Had you not been so stubborn and full of self-pity, you would have realized that. You wouldn't have been able to move the freaking daughter. boulder. I'm so sorry. Go see your mother. She misses you terribly. Glad that I took care of that. This guy. <laughs> Look at his hands. Look. Oh, you got nothing to say. I will fuck you too, man. <laughs> I figured that uh, he would uh, be grateful, though. No, no, he's not. Every time I climb up here, these statues look at me. Those big eyed statues. Corpses everywhere. A large statue. Violent earth magic has made it unstable. Really? That wasn't what I was intending, but land bridge over. Hell yeah. That works. Okay, yep, I'm not going up there. Yep, yep, no, you're good. You cannot touch me. In death, I have gained much power. The souls of the shaven head autonomy feed my magic. Not a he problem. He is too powerful. I must find a way to destroy the evil one. Perhaps I may find some magical talismans nearby. You don't think that he wouldn't have... To, yeah, whatever. We'll find him, I'm sure. A tree growing in the lava. There's a guy out in the water. What does this noble warrior seek? Surely... They Surely there's another way. Spirit, what say you? To meet Earth to Rome. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? This warrior. The Shaven Head Otonmi? Yes! Ah, you're yes. giving him the power. Destroyers. What was your station as warrior spirit? Son of... In my prime? Older than Tivitak? Younger than Hutzalak? That puts him right in the middle of my stuff, okay. Based on all the stuff I have, I've got, I've got, um, I can't even say all their names. I have them by initials because each of them have their own initials. So X O T C H M, from youngest to oldest. That's all he had to say. Let's go check out this water temple. Clearly, this is the temple of water. Clearly. <laughs> huh. Clearly. I guess I'm not doing anything with this just yet. All right, let's go check out the temple of the jaguar. That's. Three temples? A it sacrificial bowl. Two things. It is caked with dried blood. That's right. I forgot about that part. He wanted sacrifices. 
And we don't have either of those type of things yet. We might have to talk to some people. Look at this. A large crystal. I can see something inside. These gongs produce music. This is a trial and error puzzle. Get out of the way. I hate when you stand in the way. Well, that leaves this one. And this one. And this one. To uh, this one. To that one. To this one. The largest to smallest, right? The wind totem. Nice. An empty copper, the wind totem. All righty. Daughter. I have found your daughter, woman. <laughs> oh, thank you, Olmec. You have brought hope back into the lives of myself and my husband. As long as we have hope, the future will remain as bright as the sun. Good. You're welcome. The jewelry suits you well, widow. Yeah, she got a necklace. Thank you, Olmec. You have brought much happiness to my sad heart. Every time I see its reflection in the waters, I will think of my husband. Oh, and of you, you for granting me this inner peace. Yeah, nope, you can't do shit. All right, cool. Well, you're welcome, I guess, people. Hello, kid. Ah, That's what I was waiting for. A precious little one. Child. Why were you in the temple? The shiny rock. It's pretty. And I like the music, too. I figured that one out without shiny you. Rock, rock music? <laughs> yes. It's a big crystal. Like the ones father makes into jewelry. He made a scary mask before. And a necklace and a lot of rings. Huh. What music do you speak of, little one? The gongs. Sometimes I can get a few of them to make the same sound. It's fun. Let's go down in descending order from largest to smallest. Thank you. Three hours later. I've walked around this town in circles for a minute because he knocked me back on the stairs from coming up too close to him. I just assumed that we can't interact with him. It turns out I could talk to him from here. It's been like five to ten minutes of just walking around trying to figure out who the fuck I'm talking to next. What's a quaddle? Why have you returned to this place? Oh, man. I should have known you'd come. You, you follow your God's commands like the dog that you are. Go back down to your followers and wait for your death as they do. You are powerless against me here. Currently, you dare give me a speak moment, to though. me in such a tone? I have enough power to handle the likes of you. Ha! <laughs> Empty threats from a cowardly warrior. Hmm. Why do you seek to destroy those that worship you? You were their greatest king. That doesn't make any sense. They are loyal to none but themselves. Soon after my death, they stop offering sacrifice, and now they will pay with their lives. Okay, so then there's got to be a reason they quit sacrificing, right? Why have you left your heavenly throne? For the god to return to this land is a disgrace. I am more than a god. I am a warrior. Uh, warrior dad. An idle throne is an empty chair that threatens to devour my eternal soul. Maybe I will conquer this world one village at a time until all are destroyed. And Maybe then even what? A war god? When there is nothing left to conquer, like, what will you do? The Nintendo 64 game? I grow with the power of the souls I consume. When this world has been stripped of all its souls, I will be the most powerful god of all. I will conquer the heavens. <laughs> You wish, buddy. Alright. Maybe now... I can talk to somebody who might be able to help me with something. I don't even know. One eternity later. Holy shit, there's a place behind all of this stuff. That was... I was... Oh. This would have helped a long time ago. 
this is probably who I've been looking for to move this plot forward. Another hut. The air around it smells of magic. Nothing about this indicated that. It's again a waste of a lot of time. I have no idea how long I've been running this video at this point. Is this old one preparing for battle? Looks like he's trying. Old man, what say you? I say Ooh. that the end is near. End is nigh. Quetzalcoatl will destroy us all, lest I find one who can bring me the pod of might. What name do you go by, Ancient One? I can do that for you. My name is Tezekatl. Hmm. I am the village's last hope. You think so, huh? It is my duty as village witch to destroy this devil who plagues us. Oh, lordy. All right. Huh. What is this pod you speak of? The sacred pod of might. It contains the seeds I require tree. to finish my spell. Yet, there is no way to reach it. Why is that? Lava. It clings to the joining tree, surrounded by liquid fire. It's called lava. Not <laughs> even your stone form could withstand its heat. Well, I would be melted. How does the tree survive if it is surrounded by fire? It is magic, as is the pod that grows on its mighty trunk. However, the magic is fading, and the limbs will soon wither and burn. There must be some way to reach it. Perhaps the ancient rite of the warrior may be the answer. Kind of part of the way there. Right of the warrior? What will that old magic accomplish? It is old indeed, wise one. Though not practiced for many generations, it is rumored to have the ability to make a warrior impervious to the elements. Then I will go through the trials. Perform it. Forgive me, sacred one. I cannot. I don't remember the complete ceremony. However, the stonemason knows it. He is the village chief now, and is over at the huts. Well, there we go. Why do you sit here, idle in the village instead of fighting? What kind of coward are you? He's Harsh words, preparing. your holiness. But I am not merely sitting here. I am meditating to gain the power needed to combat his awful magic. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. How do you expect Cream. to defeat a god, little man? I don't. He is very strong. I cannot possibly hope to defeat him. However, if I anger him enough with my spell, he will spend precious energy on me. That should sufficiently weaken him enough for you to defeat him. You don't need you to sacrifice yourself. You would sacrifice yourself. yourself for the village? It must be done. You think it is. What spell are you preparing? It is called the Spirit Suicide Fire. Spell. It creates a mystic energy wave formed by the souls of the dead. What about all these temples? I see the temples are nearly destroyed by Quetzalcoatl's dark magic. Sword. Yes. The totems may be in grave danger. What totems are you speaking of? The statues sheltered within the temples. These statues represent the purity of the gods themselves. I believe Quetzalcoatl fears them. Else why would he seek to destroy them? It's true. Your wife mourns for you, witch. She knows what I plan and fears the future without me. She has seen our two warrior sons die at the hands of Quetzalcoatl, and soon she will bury me. Hmm, okay. He's like, what about it? He looks at you flipping you off every time he does it. Hey! You see this? Hey! 
I have found your daughter, Mason. It is time for me to undergo the rite of the warrior. You are truly honorable, Olmec. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I should never have doubted you. Enough groveling, chieftain. Damn Get straight. Get on with it. Yeah. Yes, Waste of enough course. time walking around this town. There are two stages to the ritual. The first, an act of bravery and heroism. I believe I've done you that. You've already shown that by returning my daughter to me. Second, you must recite the names of the warriors who have come before you in order of their lineage. Nice. I'm glad that I took the time to write them down. I'd like to undergo the second stage of the ritual. Do you know all six names of the oh, warriors yeah. who came before you? Yes, I do. And in order. Then let us begin, Olmec. Name the six warriors, starting with the youngest and ending with the eldest. The youngest? Just kidding. Zilunen. Ometok. Tipetok. Sentiotl. Huitzilop. Mixquotl. You are most wise, Grand Olmec. Oh. You are now ready for the ancient magics mm, of the mm, land, mm, mm, handed mm, down mm, to me by my father mm, and his father mm, before mm. him. To protect you from the mighty elements, I must combine your stone flesh with my blood and the magics of the earth. This will create a temporary magical barrier between yourself and the forces of nature. How long will it last? Not long. Oh, you yeah. must be swift in your quest. Oh, this is gonna straight run me to it. Nice. Blood of the holy. Oh, okay. Flesh of the warrior. Married to the heart of the land in a union of protection and power. Hear my prayers for divine conjuring. Bring forth the sacred magics of the deep earth to shield this noble warrior from the harsh elements. Nice. It is done. Go forth and fulfill your destiny, Olmec. The fate of our village lies in your hands. Those four villagers have spent their whole day praying. Alright, I guess that should mean I have the power to fuck up Ketsukoro now. Bring it on. He tossed me off the mound like a Enough bitch. James. Yield before Olmec. Oh, you know what? Against the elements. Maybe they meant like the fire and the water and the rain and the ice. Yeah. yeah that's exactly what he meant. Woo! <laughs> Let's take this uh, pot of life over to the shaman that I never knew was going to be over here behind this freaking building. Here's the damn pod. This I have the pot of might, old one. Might, excuse me, not Here, life. work your magic. Very good. Mecca like a Thank high, you, like a sacred hole. one. I will begin at once. I go to fulfill my destiny. It's not magic. May my sacrifice save the village. Oh my goodness. Well. <laughs> this guy's got some balls. Yeah. He shredded you hard, dude. Although honorable in your sacrifice, the village is still in danger, old one. Quetzalcoatl has powerful magic at his disposal. M mask. Mask? What mask do you speak of? Death mask. His power. Comes from it. Feels like you had enough information to it? fix this problem without Be killing yourself. Below the maze. Huh. 
witch doctor's corpse. His blood flows freely from wounds that will not heal. Un Let me get some of that. Let's go see if he's got anything in his house. A yeah. crystal heart. That's all I need to get into that Jaguar statue. Let's see. Uh, Stone into this one. Holy warrior, an honorable offering is made, but still more is required before the temple door will open. Gotcha. Seek the blood that flows from a sacred heart and place it in the second bowl. He sacrificed the wind a sac The offerings are accepted. The Jaguar Temple door opens before Sacred Olmec. You are welcome. Thank you. Ooh, the that's... Jaguar Totem. That's all I need? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Stone wheels. <laughs> Set to turn for some strange purpose. Mm. Probably for opening this lock. It's not a fish. There it is. Ooh, I had to turn one one extra step. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the Jaguar's power is revealed. Difficult puzzle. Uh oh. A beam of light. Some great magic is at work here. The old lady is dead. She has poisoned herself and joined her husband in death. She has. Oh, well, he did kill himself for the town. Images carved in stone. Somehow these hold the key to the water temple. There we go. It was a. Some shit the guy said a while back. And a little puzzle that he was doing, but it was a bunch of crap, is what it was. Uh oh. Ah uh ha -huh. Each of them bringing power. This has been the longest process that I've had to do for the longest video I've put together for this one. Probably a very short edit of information. Those sequences are cool. Look at that. Can I get inside the fisherman's uh, location now? Clearly. Sure can. Uh oh. A ruby fish. Its blood-like coloring must indicate something important. Is this the fish totem I picked up? A ruby fish. Its blood-like coloring must indicate something important. I guess. Well. Got a weird little layout there. That door does not stay open long. <laughs> All right. Um, my last possible thing that I haven't that's been interactable, but I can't do anything with, have to be the statue in the middle of the town. Oh, the statue's gone. That's right, it blew up. Okay. Um. The witch. Let's drop these pieces on here then. How about we give you some stat? Nope, that's my basin. I'll keep that. Perhaps I can't. Jaguar. An empty. Such an action. These. What more? Oh lord, but you can't walk over there? Enough. No. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. What the fuck, I swear this game is trying to troll me. This wasn't here before. This was an empty hole that made no damn sense. The I was so confused. Totem. Thank you. Why wasn't that there before? Man, I walked around this town twice again, thought this red herring, this literal red herring was, <laughs> was what I was looking for. No, man, wasn't that. It was not a totem like that, which seemed kind of weird anyway, because red fish couldn't possibly be it. It's like I got tricked. The water. Man, there's your dang water totem. Holy crap. And then he just jumps in a hole. He jumps in a hole. 
What are we doing now? Oh. We Indiana Jones. Don't get lost in this. It must be the maze they were referring to earlier. Poked him in the eye. There's a weirdest walking animations this guy's doing here. I'm trying to keep it real, but. Man, this is a very long movie sequence compared to most. Bitch. Molecular cohesion affirmative. Yes! Tessa Figured it out. To DVD. Encryptor sequence completed. System shutdown activated. And that's what led to the whole opening sequence. Yeah, we saw all this. Here's the beginning. We got it. Somebody broke his brakes. They didn't know he was going to solve it, though. Yeah, it is a maze. It is amazing. Ooh, okay, all right. Well, I'm going to stop here because I don't even have any fucking clue to how long this episode has been. Uh, either way too long or possibly super short. I know I spent a lot of time lost as hell in that city trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be and what I was supposed to be doing. Finding lost pathways I didn't realize were part of the pathways. Picking up items because other items just weren't spawning onto the screen. Just... This is left and right BS, so... Yeah. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> I hope you did enjoy that, though. The cut-down version of what I got in the end. Uh, yeah. We'll continue in the next one as we go into this maze in the next episode of Sanitarium. Have a great day. Oh, hey. I see that you guys are done with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, you can see another one over here on the right hand side and of course we've also got one on the left as well anyway i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all next time